To enter a phone order, go to the Phone Order tab on the left-hand side menu. This will open up a blank order form. It will default to the current date, order type, and default order location. You can also assign the order to a specific employee or designer. Next, you'll get your bill to customer information. You can search for your customer if they've ordered before. You can type in first name, last name, even parts of a phone number with our advanced searching to bring up your customers. If they're in the system, it will show up in search results and you can select the customer ID. It will then populate all of their information into this field. If they haven't ordered with you before, keep it on new customer and it will save their information in the system for future orders. It'll populate all the relevant information that you had in their account and further any comments for that customer. You can also add new comments here. You can also add an email address for order and delivery confirmations. And there's also a field for purchase order or reference numbers. Account information is on the right hand side. Account status. And if they have a house account, it will show an available credit limit. It also shows other helpful sales information like average sales. Next is order detail or product you are adding to the order for delivery. There are several ways to add product in this section. One, if you already know the item ID, you can type in the item ID in that first line, tab over, and it will populate the item name, description, and pricing in the system. You can then hit Add New. If you need to find product, simply use the advanced search bar. For example, if you need to find something with sunflowers or a specific sunflower arrangement, you can type in the word sunflower and everything in the system, every product that has the word sunflower in it will show up. Find the product you're looking for, select the product ID, and it will populate into the order detail field. Make any description changes that are needed, any price adjustments or discounts, and then click save. You must save the product in this section. Then we move to our ship to or recipient field. There are several options to add recipient information. One, click same as billing to use your customer address. You can use the view ship to box for everywhere the customer has sent to before. It will have all of the recipient addresses where you have sent to before. You can select and it will auto populate into this field. And same with points of interest. Points of interest are anywhere your business frequents, hospitals, hotels, or other businesses in the area to avoid having to look up and confirm addresses. It'll automatically default to the current day's delivery date. There's also a spot for priority time if it needs to be there at a specific time. And then it'll also automatically choose a delivery method based on the zip code information. If it's in your area, it will default to local truck. If it's out of area, it'll often go to wire out. You can then verify the address. You must verify the address to confirm it is a correct address within Google. Once you verify the address, you can also add delivery notes in that same section. Card message is on the right hand side. There's a character count so you know how much room you have. We also support macros, which you can set up within company. For example, HB, hit F2 and it'll populate happy birthday for you. There's also at the bottom of that box a list of macros 
also a list of card message suggestions, and also a spell check. Don't forget to add occasion code if you choose to do that within your company. Then we are at order total. Everything on the left hand side is basically the life cycle of your order as it moves through the system. There is internal notes and a spot for images that are internal use only. And then the subtotal and delivery and other pricing information on the right hand side. You then get to your payment method. Payment method includes coupons or gift card information and choose your payment method. Also the employee ID. And then to complete or process the order, you want to book order. Once you click book order, hit OK to confirm and continue, and it'll default to a blank order form for your next order.